Okay, so I'm at uh, a zoysia project that uh, I haven't rolled out to you guys yet. It's a sock, it's a, well, no, it's a lacrosse field. It's got a lot, a lot of work to still be done. Uh, I just was out here, I sprayed weeds. I may or may not have a video out by the time you see this, but all this yellow, that's dead dollar weed. Almost dead dollar weed anyway. But right now what I'm gonna do is, this uh, lacrosse field here is 4,000 square feet. It's actually 5,000 if I had on the side over there, but I'm not gonna spray that today. I'm gonna spray this even 4,000 square feet here, and I'm gonna show you how to get that done with a two gallon sprayer. All right, so I got my little bag of tips here. Some people carry a little bag of tricks. I carry a little bag of tips. You know what I'm saying over about her? I got every color at a rainbow over there. I got blue, I got green, I got white, I got black, I got gray, I got white, I got brown. Hey, that's what I'm telling you right there. We are going with a gray tip. All right, so there's a white one on here now. We'll, we'll take that one off. Oh, great. That always starts up right when I need audio. Anyway, okay, so we'll take this white one off here. That on nice and toit. All right, that should do it. All right, so we'll fill the sprayer up halfway with water first. Two gallon sprayer here, okay. All right, so we got 4,000 square feet to do, so we're gonna put in 12 ounces of the RGS because three ounces is per thousand is usually what I go with. It's the minimum rate and it's plenty here. And uh, we got 4,000 square feet, so four times three is 12. Always check first for the eyeball there. So this area here, now cameras always make it look much larger. It'll look huge, but just that's just how it is with the wide angle lens. But so here and there is 4,000 square feet. And so I've got the gray tip on. You guys saw me fill that up. And so I've got four minutes and 45 seconds to spray this. That's a pretty leisurely walk. If I'm honest with you, it's more than, you know, one minute per thousand. And you'll see, this is how we get it. Remember, dilution rates are what matter here. And we're still within our seven to one ratio, so we have no problem spraying this. Here we go, bro. I'm seeing some moths in here already, so we may have some sod webworm issue. I didn't really think sod webworm was too much of a problem in zoysia, but wouldn't be bad to do an insect control anyway. Now you probably can't see on the camera, but see, because this is a brown liquid, I can see where the uh, previous pass was very easily. Yeah, a lot of moths in here. Holy cow, look at them all. I think you can probably see them on the camera. They'll get over there into the St. Aug though, so come out here next week, take care of those guys. I mean, you can see I'm not walking very fast here. Got a slight bit of wind, so I'm keeping this out front here pretty good. I am gonna have to respray for weeds again. I got really good control though on my first app, but gonna need it again. Holy cow, look at all the mods. Sheesh. Now listen, they may not be sod webworm. They may not be tropical sod webworm moths. I'm gonna look at them a little closer here in a minute. Might be something else. But it never hurts to do an insect control here anyway in Florida. After all, mosquitoes are bad, all that kind of stuff. If you haven't looked at my video I did where I talk about insect control, I talk about how, depending what product you use, you get control of sod webworm, mosquitoes, chinch bug. Well, not necessarily always chinch bug, but ants, fleas, spiders, ticks. You definitely don't want, you know, ants on your soccer field here. So what I'm saying is it's not spraying willy nilly because I think these might be sod webworm. There's a reason to spray for other things too. 
All right, we are just about halfway done. So I'm walking a little too fast. I don't know if you can see that. Slightly above, slightly above the gallon here now that it's shut off. Can you see the gallon is the green stripe there? And I got a little bit above that. Can you see that? So I'm walking a little too fast even. Who would have thought? 2,000 square feet, 4,000 square feet out of a two gallon sprayer. I definitely don't like that this thing is always all the time, but it's just how it works. See, I'm practicing with the RGS. I'm practicing with the RGS here because I don't know the walk speed. I haven't ever used this gray tip before. And you can see I'm slightly off. That way if I did something like a pre-emergent, a prodiamine, or maybe a pinnet magnum, something that had to be done with more precision, I would know the walk speed. So that's why I always say practice with something like an RGS, Humic 12, something that has some fudge factor to it. If you get it down a little heavier, a little light, it's not gonna matter, so. I have slowed my walking pace down though. I don't know why this thing isn't kicking back on. I guess it's, it feels like it's holding its uh, PSI. Feels fine to me. There it goes. Of course, we're gonna wanna water this in. We are gonna get rain. We are on the backside of the tropical storm, you can see. We got clouds all up there. So we'll get a little rain this afternoon. I've already checked, but it won't be massive because the tropical storm has pretty much moved out. It'll be just enough to water this in. All right, let's take a look. I'll turn it off. There we go. So we're at about a half a gallon left maybe like four more passes. I am definitely I am definitely feeling good about that. So, good pace here. Wind died out, so that's good. Two more passes. I can feel it getting lighter in my hand over here. A little tick there in the corner so we'll go ahead and go down this end here and there we go what's that like a hair's breadth all right there we go yeah it's pretty much done So there you go, that is how you spray 4,000 square feet with a two gallon pump sprayer.